Okay, back to the cupcakes now. My death by chocolate cupcakes, um, and then we're gonna make them look like a grill. So I call them get your grill on cupcakes. So it starts with a box of devil's food cake mix, and then you don't wanna follow the, the box directions. You wanna file, follow my directions so that you'll get really rich, fudgy, wonderful cupcakes. Okay, so to that we're gonna add oil. four eggs instead of the three, water, crack our four eggs here. I think um, cupcakes, what can happen is sometimes they get kind of dry, because it's not like you're baking a whole cake, you're just baking these little cakes. And although they look really cute, I'm a big fan of cupcakes, sometimes they just don't taste all that great, and that's why I jazz up that box cake mix to make sure that they're really moist and yummy. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do some pudding. Um, pudding mix to, a lot of the cake mixes these days actually have pudding in the mix, but we're gonna add some more, again, to keep it really moist. Uh, you can certainly pick up a box of instant. We're using one small box of instant chocolate pudding mix, but we love and are a big fan of the Bulk Food Shop, and they actually sell instant pudding mixes, uh, or actually they sell instant pudding, not in the boxes, but they package it up in whatever size container you want, um, so let's say in this case, um, this packet is, uh, it was $5, and we're going to um, basically get about seven to eight um, boxes of pudding out of, uh, out of that. So you can do the math on that, and instead we're going to use our instant chocolate pudding mix. So, um, uh, you know, and you'd make it just like you would, uh, you know, regular pudding if you're going to make it straight up pudding. So we're going to throw some of this in here, and it really is going to make this moist and wonderful bulk food shop in Greenville and then Ashwaubenon and you name it, they sell it in bulk and it's way cheaper and fresher. Um, it's just a fun way to start buying things. Okay, and then some sour cream. So we had four eggs, vegetable or canola oil, instant chocolate pudding mix, water, sour cream, And we're going to throw some chocolate chips in here, too. So at this point, we're going to beat this up. You can also bake this in a bunt. No frosting required. I fill the inside of the bunt with fresh berries, dust it with powdered sugar, and it's so moist and delicious. I love bunt cakes because they look so pretty and you don't need to frost them or you could just do a glaze. Just wanna get all that sour cream in there. You still have time to read our book club book. Time is running out though, so go pick up the book or load it on your Kindle or your Nook, read it over the holiday weekend, and then join us for book club coming up at the Bottle Room in Swamico, July 22nd. We're reading Sue Monk Kid's book, The Invention of Wings, and the book club meetings are so much fun. So don't miss out, but you need to call to reserve your spot, just so we know how many people are coming. So that's coming up in just a couple weeks. All right, so we've got, this is going to make about 24 cupcakes. Ann said you usually, you got even more out of this, huh? She got about 30. So line your pan with liners. I like to use the silver liners for uh, devil's food cupcakes because they won't bleed through. Any kind of liners would do, um, but the foil, the foil now come in like red foil or green foil. Um, but devil's food cake, if you use a pastel liner, you're not going to see the liner. So you get the idea. And I use a scoop. You don't want to overfill these. In fact, better to underfill them a little bit. We fill them about two thirds of a cup full. Oven temperature, 
325, 350, and they take about 18 to 20 minutes. Check those cupcakes at about 16 minutes. You don't want to overbake them. That is the key. And you can do the old toothpick test. That's really the best way to see if they're done or not. Okay. So we've got some that have been baked and you want to make sure they're cooled. And now here comes a really fun part. So you can frost these cupcakes however you want. But this is what I wanted to show you that I think you'll really get a kick out of. Okay. So my death by chocolate cupcakes. Here they are after they came out of the oven. Nice and cooled and they're really dense and fudgy. They, they actually weigh quite a bit. So at this point, I'm going to start decorating them. So you can certainly make homemade chocolate buttercream frosting with just powdered sugar and, and cocoa and butter. Or you can just keep it really easy breezy and pick up a can of your favorite chocolate frosting. So that's why I say no piping bag needed for these because the star of the show is what we're going to put on top of these babies. You can find a unserrated knife that makes frosting these guys makes it nice and smooth okay so now after we frosted a bunch of them We're going to decorate them. And this is going to be so cute. OK, so we pick up a tube of black frosting. Or you could just take a can of white frosting and color it black using some of those gels. But this is going to be real quick and easy. And we're going to make grates on our grill. So basically, we're going to do some lines. thin lines. You could also use licorice laces, Anne suggested. Those are a little hard to find. I believe uh, they have those at the bulk food store, though. So yeah, that would make it really easy. No piping at all required. You can even just cut off the corner of a Ziploc bag and use that. And they don't have to be perfect. OK, so now we need some food on this grill, don't you think? So we've got some Mike and Ike candies. And these are going to be like our little hot dogs or bratwurst. So we're just going to throw those over just Kind of put them wherever you want on the grill, and then we can put a couple of grill marks. On our Mike and Ike's candies. Okay, now we're going to make some shish kebabs. And these are so cute and so easy. So picked up some gumdrops. And I've got a, a plain wooden toothpick. And we're going to make some kebabs. So take a yellow, a red, and a green gumdrop. And we just throw those on top of the cupcake. Aren't they cute? Even, I'm not super duper crafty, and if it's too hard, it's not going to happen in my house, but anybody can do these. So easy, so cute. So there you go. Get your grill on cupcakes. Just my Death by Chocolate Cupcakes box uh, cake mix that I jazzed up 
with some extra ingredients to make them really moist and fudgy. Piped on the lines with uh, black frosting. Threw some hot dogs, which are Mike and Ike's candies, and some gumdrops on a skewer making the kebabs, and there you go. These will make everybody smile at your 4th of July party or your summer cookout. And by the way, you can get the recipe on our website.